folks uh, today we're going to be doing this very quick and easy quick in the sense there's very little preparation involved but then the cooking time you need uh, quite a bit of time okay like four to six hours um, just know and it is uh, a recipe that my kids enjoy very much especially in the winter months uh, when you want a hearty meal and um, uh, this is something I was able to pull together and prepare even while in Sri Lanka because the, the ingredients are so readily available. Okay, so um, what we would need is um, one pound of uh, ground meat of any kind, your protein, whatever you like. So I've got ground chicken here and uh, I've had to thaw mine in the microwave so it looks kind of funny. And I hadn't prepared to do this video so I'm, I apologize for the appearance of this uh, I have a very large onion chopped and uh, chop it chunky if you like if if, if uh, you don't mind the onion bits in your food but if you don't want to see it then you can chop it fine and it'll melt away um, there's chopped garlic and I've used about three or four cloves uh, the more the better so three or four cloves and um, uh, a pe uh, an inch piece of ginger which I've also chopped up um, and you can keep it sort of um, uh, one is to two ratio between the garlic and the ginger more garlic less ginger and we will also need one third cup of ketchup uh, I, I'm using half of a one fourth cup of barbecue sauce um, which would be one eighth and if you don't have barbecue sauce, then that's fine. You don't have to have it in. Um, a tin of tomato paste, large tomato chopped up. And the spices that we will be using is ground pepper. I have one teaspoon of ground pepper, one teaspoon each of the red chili and the paprika. And that's because my chili powder is really, really hot. So if yours isn't, you can use two teaspoons of the same chili powder and uh, three teaspoons of cumin powder. You want more of the cumin because it really does bring out the flavor of chili. It's a Mexican dish and uh, uh, it has more cumin in it. And uh, there is turmeric powder and we'll be using a pinch of that. So for the beans, I have here a mixed um, bean uh, bag that I had. Uh, but if not, you could just take a little bit of different beans, uh, lentils, black beans, kidney beans, fava beans, um, pigeon peas, split peas, anything that you can find. Soak it the night before and uh, I have here after soaking, I'm sorry I didn't measure it ahead of time because I didn't plan to do this, but after soaking I have here about three cups of beans. So three cups of beans to one cup, uh, one pound of meat, okay, and some salt to taste. So let's start with the uh, first part of the recipe. Okay, add some oil to a frying pan. You want to brown the meat, so just a little bit of oil, depending on how much uh, fat your meat has. Mine is not too fatty, but it does have a little bit. So wait for the oil to heat up, and I'm sorry. Then add in your onions, garlic, and ginger. And how some people do it is just add everything into the crock pot, pot and only brown the meat. But I like to get the flavors going in the onion, garlic, and ginger. I think it flavors the meat and that, that makes it nice. And I guess we're accustomed to that in the rest of our cooking, so it comes naturally to me to do that but like I said this is my version of chili anyway, I'm not waiting for the onions to brown just to soften okay and then add in your meat and to this I'm going to add in all my spices so my pepper, actually half of them, okay, leave a little bit for your half of all the spices. So it flavors the meat and then the rest of it can cook. 
Please. A little bit of the turmeric. And once the meat is brown, you want to drain all the excess fat, if you have lots of it. I'm going to also add in a little bit of salt. And I'll keep in mind that I've added the salt now, so that when I'm adding salt later to the rest of the dish, it won't be too much. So this will take about five to six minutes and you want to brown the meat well and break up any of the big clumps. All this will cook very well because we're doing a slow and low cooking in the crock pot. You don't need a crock pot if you don't have one. You can also use a heavy bottom pan and just make sure you have it on very low flame. and. Uh, a low heat and you're going to cook covered for about four to six hours and that's it okay so for the next part I've put in my meat it drained out the excess fat and um, put in all of that and then I'm going to add in this is the easy part where you just throw everything in so add in my beans. This, uh, these beans have been soaked overnight and so they'll cook easily. I'm going to add in my spices, so my pepper, the rest of the chili and paprika, the rest of the cumin. Sorry for the shaky camera, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Uh, a little bit more of the uh, turmeric. My ketchup, barbecue sauce, okay. salt, and I'll be careful not to add too much of it. Uh, because I can always adjust at the end but I've added in the um, tomato paste the whole can of tomato paste I'm putting in my chopped tomatoes make sure you get all the juice uh, out of the tomatoes in it as well all that's flavor and then I'm going to just top everything with water and just enough water to cover the beans okay and then we can always add more but we can't take it out Okay, so there it is. I'm going to give that a good mix and set your timer or set the heat on the crock pot. Mine has a low and high setting, so I'm going to put it to a high and I'm going to cook it covered for about four hours. And then once everything is incorporated there's, uh, and the beans are cooked, everything is seasoned, then I will drop the heat down to Okay, so it's been about three and a half hours now, and uh, just to have a look at what's happening here. See, there's lots of extra liquid that's come out uh, from the tomatoes, all the sauce that we've put in, plus the, um, the meat as well. I'm going to keep it for about another three hours or so. Um, two and a half, two hours is fine as well. Like you just want it to be really thick um, this is more like it's soupy right now right so you need it to thicken up I'm just going to test for salt and if it needs a little bit more of any of the seasonings I can add it okay so time. I definitely need a little more salt so I added, I've added in the salt and all of the other seasonings seem okay so I'm going to let it cook down some more uh, I'm going to leave it for maybe about another three hours or so and I'll check back um, if you're a working hours. mom and uh, you set your crock pot in the morning you just walk away and come back in the evening to a nice pot of chili and that's how easy okay, it is. so now okay. it's been six hours in total from uh, since I put it into the crock pot 
and uh, just it looks done okay I put all that extra moisture in there because um, the beans will continue to thicken it so it's good to have the moisture in there okay so that you can see it's nice and thick and um, you can even go down and like mash a few of the beans just to add to the creaminess of the chili it's nice chunky chili all right so i'm just gonna uh tell you a few things that uh, you can do at this point uh, you can let it cook for another half an hour or so um, and this is for our dinner so we have a little time i'm going to keep it on low and you know keep warm and some things that you can add would be um, chopped green peppers uh, you can add that you can add celery if but neither of which my kids like cooked so I have the chopped green peppers as a, a topping uh, for my son and then the other two are not fond of it so they will have it out um, I do try to sneak in some vegetables into it into the chili and one easy way of doing that is um, in your tomato sauce instead of putting in cubes of tomato you can just uh, pulp your tomato with some of the veggies um, like green peppers or um, anything else that you think that it would be good for them a little bit of spinach even I've tried that and um, you you just need a little bit because too much of it it'll show in the taste and they'll know but you could sneak it in so when they were younger I, could, I would be able to do that but not anymore so there's my green peppers you could use any color peppers you want but I thought there's enough red in this dish so I've gone for green and some uh, parsley if you have fresh that's great I have frozen so my parsley is here and I'm also going to top it up with some uh, shredded mozzarella cheese or any kind of uh, cheese, not the processed kind, but uh, fresh cheese if you can get some um, as a topping or even parmigiana. It, it's good. So let's bowl so this up and get folks, today's dish, a uh, hot bowl of chili. Um, hails from Mexico, but this is my take on it. I hope you try it and you enjoy it. Please post your suggestions, comments, questions, anything that you have below. And uh, if you do need to contact me, you can at sunnylanka09 at gmail.com or like even visit me on my Facebook page, Sunny Lanka, Sri Lankan Homestyle Cooking. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Sunny Lanka. Take care.